to my channel. Hi. Hi. I have a guest, guys. Just give me a second. An amazing, amazing, amazing guest. So if you're a returning subscriber, hi. How's your week been? How's your week been? My week has been great. Mm -hmm. It has been amazing. Amazing. It was short. Mm -hmm. It was sweet. Short and sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and that is all we know. It was nice. We were fine that it was short. It was Monday, then another Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. Maybe. Yeah. I think I agree. So if you're new, my name is Monday. I shoot videos on body positivity, life lessons, DIY, and plus size fashion. You can subscribe. The icon is just down here. Join the family. It would mean the world to me. So uh, today, like I mentioned, I have an amazing, amazing guest. And like she's going to tell us who she is and the amazing thing we're going to talk about. So, yes. Hmm. My name is Njeri Maina. Njeri Maina. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. yes. My name is Njeri Maina. Mm -hmm. Before I go to the, the introduction, when I and I go to the same church, yes, we are in the youth group. The spiritual. And that is how we met. Baby, actually, the right word is religious. Spiritual is, can mean we believe in the devil. Yeah, religious. Yeah, religious. <laughs> yeah, religious. <laughs> religious. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm a high performance coach. A high performance coach is the person who helps you gain clarity of your life and your goals. Mm -hmm. We help you set the goals and action steps. Mm -hmm. We also help you, you know, like in the action steps, uh, work on them, mm -hmm. and that way you keep you accountable. Mm -hmm. But you as a person, you also have to be willing to work at it. Because mm -hmm. if you're not willing to work at it, then you can't achieve anything that you've said. Mm -hmm. So on my part, I'm doing the work, and also you have to do the work, so it's like a partnership. Ah, yes, and today, what today. are we talking about, sis? Today we are talking about three important things. Yes. The first one, morning routine. Yes, morning what routine. Is and why you should have it. Number two, evening routine. Mm -hmm. The amazing steps. She has like amazing steps you should follow for your evening routine. And then journaling. Should you do it? Should you not do it? She let us know. Right? Yeah, yes, definitely. So as usual, let's go straight to the video. Okay. So, Jerry, what is the like first things first? I think it would be best for people to understand what is a morning routine, yeah. what's an evening routine, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A morning routine. These are the things that you do first thing in the morning when you wake up. Mm -hmm. So, um, like the things that are supposed to guide you throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Like when you wake up, first thing the things that you do. Mm -hmm. Number one, guys, do not use your phone. Do not wake up in the morning. The first thing you're doing is just check Instagram, you WhatsApp. <laughs> things can just that can just ruin your day. Because mm -hmm. that is what most people do. Yes. To be honest, even me, I'm a victim of that sometimes. Me too. Yeah. Because. Mm -hmm. We normally sleep on your phone, it's just right next to you. Mm. Yeah, mm. so we normally call up some of that. Mm -hmm. So, I'm only like the, the first thing that you do, it is your me time. Mm -hmm. Like, you need to wake up before everyone else. And for people who have kids, you know, you're supposed to wake up like an hour before you just have, you know, your own time before your kids start and the day starts. And because once the day starts, especially for people who have kids, it's like a marathon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then an evening routine are the things that you normally do just before you sleep. Mm -hmm. To just wind it down, mm -hmm. you know, keep you calm and grounded and relaxed just mm -hmm. before you sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So somebody is like morning is like the first thing you should do just to make sure your day flows well. Yeah. And evening it's like let's wind down and be grateful that the mm -hmm. day is over. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why should someone actually have a morning routine or evening routine? Yeah. Mm. Okay, you should have a morning routine, number one, because it increases productivity. Uh -huh. When you wake up and you just start your day on a right note, mm. that day will be productive for sure. It is not like the kind of day that you wake up late, you don't even know where your shoes are, you're looking for your handbag, <laughs> you know. Running around. Yeah, this day you are organized, you know, like, so productivity levels are going to be high. Mm -hmm. Number two, it mm -hmm. reduces stress levels. Mm -hmm. Like if you wake up and you have something that is really bothering you, a morning routine, like the things that you do in your morning routine are going to re help you reduce the stress levels. Mm -hmm. Number three, it is going to help you be grounded. Mm -hmm. By being grounded, you mean that it's going to help you be focused and you know eliminate distractions and stuff like that in your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number three, you will start. I mean, number four. This is number four. Mm -hmm. You will start the day on a right note. Mm -hmm. It is like the way I've said. It is not like when you're waking up in a hurry. Mm -hmm. You know. So you start the day on a right note. Mm -hmm. yes. But not least, mm -hmm. <laughs> you control the day. Do not let the day control you. That's very important. Yeah. Yeah. Cause. On the day that you wake up late, the day will control you. Exactly. It you will have a bad day. 
it, I think you, if you wake up later, if you don't have a morning or evening routine, yeah. your life will be more of reaction. True. So True. there's traffic jam. I'm angry because there's traffic jam. Yeah. I am late. It's yeah. always what is happening outside dictating how you will be reacting. For sure. Uh -huh. And you normally find that if the day is controlling you, 99% mm -hmm. of the time, mm -hmm. you have a negative attitude throughout that day. True. You wake up late, you're going to wear your stockings, they run. <laughs> <laughs> you go to brush your teeth, there's no toothpaste. You know, so you, the, the soup falls down in the shower. When you're standing up, you're going to go on a tap. Bus or steam my nail. Steam my nail. You have to shower with cold water, but it's true. True. You find there's traffic, thing goes wrong. Going to town, maybe it's supposed to be like 20 bucks. That day you pay 50 or 70. <laughs> you leave your change. You leave your change. Yeah. It's normally pathetic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So those are the five good reasons why you should have an evening and a morning routine. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. another question I have is, when does your morning routine start? A morning routine is supposed to start the previous night. The previous night? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. It's what you can prepare for it. Uh -huh. It's like what you normally do. If not tomorrow, you have an interview. Mm -hmm. You normally prepare it the previous night. Yes. It is the same thing as mm -hmm. a morning routine. Mm -hmm. So you should do, they're just simple things that everyone can do. Mm -hmm. Number one, do not use your phone like an hour before you sleep. Because the blue light just interferes with your sleep, which mm -hmm. can even make you have insomnia and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So an hour before you sleep, do not use your phone. Even laptop? Even laptop. Okay. Anything that has the blue light. Any mm -hmm. gadgets, in short. Any mm -hmm. gadgets, do not use them. Mm -hmm. You'd rather read a book mm -hmm. or you just journal or, or plan your day. Okay. Yeah. Anything that does not include gadgets. So no gadgets? Yeah. No an gadgets. hour before? An hour sleep. before bed, yes. Okay. Something else you should do, sleep early. Okay. Have like the maximum, okay, not like 10 to 15 hours, no, like 7 to 8. Because <laughs> if you tell people to sleep, you can sleep. Yeah, and then like, 20 hours. hours. Sleep. Yeah. <laughs> sleep 7 to 8 hours. Because mm -hmm. then again, if you sleep too much, mm -hmm. there's a point that teaches and your energy levels actually start going down. Yeah, you're also sleeping a lot. You feel tired. Yeah, you mm -hmm. feel tired. So mm -hmm. just sleep enough, like 7 to 8 hours are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then also plan your day the night before. Ah, yes, mm -hmm. like everything that you're supposed to do the full day, plan mm -hmm. it so that when you wake up in the morning, you know exactly what it is that you're supposed to do. Uh -huh. Not you wake up thinking, okay, what am I supposed to do today? Mm -hmm. No, yeah, mm -hmm. plan your day the night before. Mm -hmm. And also, like your morning routine should be simple. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Do mm -hmm. not complicate it with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Like do do not do a lot of things because you're going to feel overwhelmed if you put a lot of things, yeah. and you'll actually not want to do it at all. You won't look forward to it. Yeah, either. you won't. Yeah, yeah. It keep it fun. really, really simple. Uh -huh. And then lastly, you should take a test drive. Mm. Like, uh, if, if you try some things, like for example, there are people who do not work out in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like me, I don't work out in the morning. Because mm -hmm. I tried it, and to be honest, it wasn't working for me. Mm -hmm. So I took that working out on a test drive, and mm -hmm. I saw, mm, this one was not for me. <laughs> so I shifted it, and I put it in the evening. In the evening. Yeah. yeah. So you can test things out and see what it is that is working for you. Yeah, it works. is not a must that at, when I say you're supposed to work out, I should start working out. If it is not working for you, did it and, and do something else. That's something like the personalization of everything. Yeah. If it works for you, fine. If it doesn't work for you, fine. Yeah, for the, sure. There's something else you had mentioned uh, mm -hmm. yesterday when mm -hmm. we were talking. Uh, the one for before you sleep, you write something that is stressing you out. Yeah. Why, why do you do before that? Before you sleep, you, you write. Like if you have something that is stressing you out during the day, mm -hmm. it is important for you to write it down. Mm -hmm. Because writing it down is like, it's like crying. Mm -hmm. It is like therapeutic mm -hmm. and... You see how people say like a problem shared is a problem half solved. Yeah. When you're writing it down, it is like you're sharing it. Uh -huh. You're actually removing it from your mind to paper. Mm -hmm. So you, you will actually feel relieved. You feel more relieved. Like Monday this week, I had insomnia. Mm -hmm. Two days in a row. Oh my God. The first day, I slept mm -hmm. for three hours. And I was awake. I went to bed at 9.30. Mm -hmm. And I was awake, awake until 3. Mm -hmm. So the following day when it happened, mm -hmm. I actually took a book and I had a brain dump. Mm -hmm. And by the time I was done, I was feeling sleepy. You were ready to go. Yeah. yeah. So it actually works. Because okay. that is for a form of journaling. So it actually works. Do you yes. have do you mind sharing with us like your actual morning and evening routine? So uh an actual Perfect. morning routine should include mm -hmm. like your mental, mental, your spiritual, spiritual, your emotional and your physical being. Uh -huh. so if you think four yeah, things. those four things. Because mm -hmm. if you think about it, that is actually who you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about your mentor, mm -hmm. these are things that make you grow, make your mind grow as a person, you mm -hmm. know, 
they are like intellectual things that make you grow as a person. Mm -hmm. For example, reading books. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not big on reading, you can actually listen to audiobooks. Mm -hmm. Also listening to podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm a big fan of podcasts. Mm -hmm. Also listening to motivational stuff on Ted YouTube. Talks. Ted Talks. Yeah, yeah for sure. Mm -hmm. For some reason, the so to soul Ted Talks. Mm. Ah. The soul, soul generation. Yeah. That if you just listen to this and you feel like I relate to you. I am one with you. I know. But I'm still me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just, it does, it does remind me. Mm. Yeah, so things like those. Things that will actually motivate you and make your mind grow. Mm -hmm. Things that will make you believe in yourself. Because there are days that your belief, your self belief is normally shaky, shaky. Which the devil is trying to ruin yeah. you know, <laughs> your day. And you're just like, oh, uh, not today. Like, no, I will stop it because of blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So mental is all about stimulating your brain, your yeah. mind to be perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then you mentioned the other one. The second one is your spiritual. Mm -hmm. Your spiritual, these are things that... You know, like praying, mm -hmm. these are things that are actually holy and spiritual. Mm -hmm. By holy, I do not mean like, you know, like God only, mm -hmm. like holy, that, you know. Spiritual things, things like meditation mm -hmm. is spiritual, visualization mm -hmm. is spiritual. Mm -hmm. Also, at some point, gratitude mm -hmm. is also spiritual. Mm -hmm. And also... I think you mentioned journaling also. Also journaling, yeah. So ideally just to connect yourself to the higher being that you believe in. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. those are the spiritual aspects. Mm -hmm. And uh, hey, gratitude. Gratitude, I think, falls in everything. Because mm -hmm. gratitude, you, uh, gratitude it, it is spiritual as well. Mm -hmm. And also at some point, it, will, it, is, it also falls in emotional. I'll talk about it when, when I get to the emotional part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so gratitude. Ah, gratitude. It's a big part of my life. It's yeah. a big part. It okay. is. Then you mentioned emotional. So emotional. emotional. Ah, this is my favorite. <laughs> emotional. Mm -hmm. Emotional. The emotional part is like number one, gratitude. Mm -hmm. These are things that make you happy. Mm -hmm. Things that can just raise your mood and mm -hmm. just change your day. Like listening to music. Music. Oh my I God. I listen to music each and every single day in the shower. Music changes. Yes, it does. So try to put your phone like so it doesn't like get water. For us, the bathroom and the toilet are in the same room. So you put. So I just close the toilet seat, <gasps> put my phone and my speaker over there. Like, yeah. And then shut up. It does. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Listen to music. Mm -hmm. And something else that you can do is oh the gratitude. Mm -hmm. Gratitude actually, you know, when you're being grateful for everything that you have. Mm -hmm. If, if you're coming from a point of being unfortunate, mm -hmm. an unfortunate person is the kind of person who is always like, unfortunately, I don't have money. Unfortunately, my friends don't yes. love me. Yeah, stuff like that. If you're an unfortunate person, it will bring you from the unfortunate you to the fortunate you, where mm -hmm. you're grateful. Because mm -hmm. when you start doing the gratitude, you start saying like, wow, I have so much to be grateful for in my life, you know. Like, the, trust me, you cannot miss like 10 things in a day that you're grateful for. Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. I remember when you mentioned gratitude, you told me just start with one thing, one thing, two things. I'm mm -hmm. happy, yeah. I'm awake today. Yeah, I'm happy today. I didn't miss the matter, too. that's it for sure. You told me simple and straight to the point, simple and straight to the point. Then as you continue, yeah. you now make them more complicated. Yeah, and deep. I think you told me right everything that you're grateful, you're grateful for. Yeah, and also something else that normally helps in the gratitude, you can say like, I am grateful for my bed because... Yes. Yes, why are you grateful for it? You know, mm. it helps you, mm. you know, have good sleep and mm. relax. Mm. I am grateful for the sun because I can wear something like this. You're still talking, <laughs> I know you're guys, but I understand, so you get a reason why. Yeah, a reason yeah. why. That mm. way it will also make you go deep on the emotional part. Yes. Because so normally you just say, I'm grateful because there's an yeah. first step. Yeah. But I, I like that idea mm. for taking sure. it a step deeper. Yeah. And lastly, you mentioned physical. Physical. Is it only all about exercise? No, it is not all about, about exercise. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because <laughs> there are people who do not like working out mm. at all. Mm. So the physical part is not only about working out. Working out is definitely there, mm -hmm. but also the things that you do to nourish your body. Mm. Like the things that you eat. Yes. Like having a good breakfast in the morning is really important because it will help mm -hmm. you be be energized to do all that throughout the day. Yeah. yeah. For me, I really love eating eggs in the morning. <laughs> wow. Boiled scramble me. fried. Fried. Oh my god. But then I can eat eggs in all forms. Okay, mm -hmm. but the drinking part. Uh -uh. <laughs> the, the drinking part. No, ew. That just looks nasty. Like. Yeah. 
but mm -hmm. as long as it is cooked, mm -hmm. I can eat it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. So you should have a good, healthy breakfast. Mm -hmm. Health is very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, there are people who love drinking um, lemon water in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I love drinking apple cider mm -hmm. and lemon and, and the hot water yeah, and honey. Yeah. I actually love that. Mm -hmm. I do not, as I said, I do not work out in the morning. Mm -hmm. I tried it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't for me. So <laughs> no I too. took it to the evening. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> So that is what you should incorporate in your morning routine. Those four things. Yeah. Keep it short and simple. Mm -hmm. If all these things you find that you cannot fit in your morning, mm -hmm. take some to the evening. Aha. Yes. That's a new aspect on my Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because for me, because I do not want to take a lot of time in the morning, because mm -hmm. then again, you do not have that much time because of work and stuff. Yeah. You always rush in somewhere. Yeah, for sure. So mm -hmm. the gratitude, mm -hmm. I normally say it in my head. Mm -hmm. But then in the evening, after I work out, mm -hmm. I normally do now. Like I write it down, not the things that I'm grateful for. But in the morning, I just say it often. In the evening, I actually write it down. And that's it. Yeah. So, so what's your evening routine like? Huh? So I've already gone through my day, you know. Mm -hmm. During the day, you have come across many things, <laughs> many people that just just want to talk to you however they want. You you test, know, your yeah, mm -hmm. test your spirit. Yeah. Test your spirit. So you come back home. I normally work out in the evening. Mm -hmm. That is normally the beginning of my evening routine. Mm -hmm. We start at 5.30. Okay. At 5.30, I go do my work. Mm -hmm. And then I come back home at around 7. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, like I spend time with my family, you know, shower, eat dinner and stuff. Mm -hmm. At around 8.30, 9, mm -hmm. now I go to bed. Mm -hmm. And now when I go to bed, I normally do the gratitude. Mm -hmm. I write it down mm -hmm. because in the morning I just did it off yet. Mm -hmm. So I write it down and I actually say the things that I'm grateful for. Mm -hmm. And I normally find a constant thing that I'm grateful for is music. Mm -hmm. One. Music is music. everything. It's <laughs> everything in my life. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I do my gratitude and then I also visualize. Ah. Yes. I mm -hmm. visualize like how is my day going to be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I actually run it down in my mind mm -hmm. so that tomorrow it is actually just flowing. I also plan my day the night before. Uh -huh. Yes, the yeah. you mentioned. Yes. You prepare for the morning routine the, yeah. night, before. the night before. Yeah. Uh -huh. I also plan my day. Before, I used to plan my week. Mm -hmm. Like on Sunday, I plan everything. Mm -hmm. But then, what are random things? They just pop up. <laughs> It just pop up. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these days I normally plan my day like the, the night before. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I, I just sleep. Um, yeah. Question: When you're planning, do you mm -hmm. allow for you know there are people who plan very rigid, rigid plans? Mm -hmm. Should you allow flexibility in terms of changing? Like how do you incorporate that? Yeah. So in order for me to allow flexibility, I normally make sure the most important things mm -hmm. I normally do them in the morning. Yeah, uh -huh. I usually have three, only three mm -hmm. goals mm -hmm. to achieve in a day. Mm -hmm. So also there are, there are like errands and stuff like that in between, mm -hmm. but my three goals that I need to achieve that day, I usually want to do them in the mm -hmm. morning. Uh -huh. So that if there are other random things that are just popping up, I cannot do them in the afternoon. Because mm -hmm. in the morning you know you're fresh, you have energy, mm -hmm. you want to give it your best. Yeah. These random thing, things that, that are just popping up, you can do them in the afternoon when you're yeah. feeling lazy, the sun is up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. You you can allow, you can allow. Because if you don't, then you you won't. Uh, you, I think mm -hmm. should be flexible. Like it's it's really important. Yeah. It's but really I like the aspect of doing the most important things in the morning. Yeah. So at the afternoon you have more flexibility. Yeah. So that you don't feel now overwhelmed and then now you stop. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Then again, it works for me because I work from home. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I think it is very different from if someone is working in an office. Yeah. Because you know your boss can just pop up in the morning, you've already planned your day, they're, they're just like, I need you to do this yeah, right two, now. Three, four, right yeah, now. you don't have any other option. Mm -hmm. So you should just allow the flexibility. The flexibility. Yeah, for but sure. I think if they follow the evening and morning routine you shared, mm -hmm. you'll be able to know, yes, these are the three things I need to do. Yeah. But because someone else has come to add, I'll be able to just move these three or yeah. these five things yeah. to this other time, as yeah. opposed to. Now you start to like, okay, what other things are supposed to do? What mm. else? What else? Yeah. True. Yeah. And then something else, like the, the most difficult tasks, mm. you start with them in the morning. Mm. You see, some, when someone is planning their day, mm. you usually have the task that you just, you, you, plan, you put it in your schedule on Monday. Mm. You didn't do it. It is there again on Tuesday. <laughs> you didn't do it. Then it is there again on Wednesday. It's there now. <laughs> The things that you think in your mind are hard and they're difficult, mm. you do them. Such a if you are also able to delegate, mm. do it. Mm. Do not put a lot in your plate. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you, you won't do anything. Mm -hmm. But now you're crashing. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. the, the evening routine is supposed to be 
you know, something that is short because then again you're tired. You yeah. do not want to bombard yourself with a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also mm-hmm. meditation mm-hmm. is something that I normally do once in a while when I'm feeling really overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you have a constant morning routine and evening routine, but you allow for like when things get a bit too much, mm-hmm. you have like meditation, you do it there yeah, somewhere yeah. and such. For okay. sure. Okay. Like the days that I don't work out, mm-hmm. I normally meditate. Mm-hmm. But I really try to work out. You know, like at least five days a week. Yeah, yeah. The, the working thing is to like once you just walk, you can clear your mind, you can be able to think of so many things. Yeah. You resolve so many things. <sighs> you just come back with so much clarity and peace. For sure. And don't walk, uh, mostly I usually walk alone because mm-hmm. you need that peace of mind. Mm-hmm. Or if you're working with someone, don't talk about stories. <laughs> yeah. I usually talk, we talk about what do you want to do in that life. Like, it's like more of therapy. As yeah. You walk. But for that's just me. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I used to work with my mom actually. Mm-hmm. And we used to, to say the rosary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've been doing the spiritual aspect. Yeah. Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. like, my mom, there's this month, mm-hmm. which month do you normally do the rosary? May and October. Yes. Mm-hmm. We used to do the rosary in, like, the whole month. Mm-hmm. We used to do it. Even mm-hmm. I, last week she was like, oh, by the way, October is the rosary month. And mm-hmm. we are supposed to do it again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But these days she doesn't talk much. Mm-hmm. So I normally put my headphones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. For me now, the therapeutic part mm. usually comes when I'm washing the dishes. Mm-hmm. I don't know why washing dishes is really, really? therapeutic. Yeah. Come, come and wash me. Mm. Most washing oh, dishes. Oh, my life de- decisions mm. have made them when I was washing, washing dishes. dishes. Yeah. Oh, imagine. Oh. <laughs> I find it, it is so weird. Mm-hmm. It is weird. But, but it works for you. It works for me. That's something I learned. If something works for you, regardless how weird it is to everyone else, yeah. you don't need to explain yourself. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Unless you're killing someone or you're committing a crime, <laughs> you need to tell us why. <laughs> Disclaimer. People don't say why. Like, you just commit and you just slay each other. Journaling. Uh-huh. So, what is journaling? Journaling is where you normally dump your emotions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, if you had a really bad day mm-hmm. and you just go home and you just write it down. Mm-hmm. That one is journaling. Mm-hmm. Also, if you had a good day mm-hmm. and you also want to write it down. Mm-hmm. In short, journaling is just putting what is in your heart and in your mind in paper. Aha, uh-huh. so just transpiring them from internal into yeah. external. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh-huh. that's what journaling. Mm-hmm. And then this scripting. There's a difference. Yes. Mm-hmm. Scripting is something that is actually new. I also okay. learned about this this year. Mm-hmm. Scripting is where you write about your future, your future vision. Aha, uh-huh. okay. Yes. Uh-huh. And actually, scripting, scripting will help you be aligned with your goals. Because mm-hmm. when you script, it is actually calling upon the universe to come and manifest whatever it is that you are doing in your life. Mm-hmm. For example, I scripted about how I want my life to be, like my life vision. Mm-hmm. You know, where I want to live, mm-hmm. how I want the apartment to be, mm-hmm. which car I want to drive, mm-hmm. how I want my business to be, and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then you should be very, very specific. Mm-hmm. Because if you're not specific, mm. even the universe is just wondering, okay, you want a car, but which car alone <laughs> you want a car? <laughs> you know, which car do you want? I saw that in a movie, the chick kept telling her that I, I want a, I want a car, car, if it's small, it will be fine, yeah. like the smaller, the portable it is. Then I bought her a picky picky. Yeah. And she was so mad. Yeah, and I was like, sure. But she didn't say. So I get what you're saying. Because our motorbike specific. is very flexible. Yeah, and it's compact. Yeah. And it's cute. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You see, you should be very specific. Because mm-hmm. so that even when God is, is answering your prayers, mm-hmm. He knows what exactly what it is that you're giving, mm-hmm. you know. So you, that is what scripting is all about. And mm-hmm. scripting is really important because mm-hmm. if you script and you keep reading it each and every single day, mm-hmm. you will keep saying, okay, this is what I want to achieve. Okay, mm-hmm. I need to work on this. Mm-hmm. So uh, I love scripting. Actually, love scripting more than journaling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. So I have a question. Mm-hmm. So if I'm to do journaling and scripting, mm-hmm. would you advise me to break, uh, like for example, let's say journaling, mm-hmm. do I break it down to different aspects of my day or do I just have one journal for the good days, another one for the bad days, or just one journal for everything? One journal for everything. For everything, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now where you can where you can divide is you can have like a journal mm-hmm. and a script okay. like you know like the scripting book and it's then now a journal it's it's separate. Separate. Okay. yeah because mm-hmm. a journal you know each and every single day you normally go through emotions mm. if you want to separate them you have to get a journal for your happy days <laughs> sad days <laughs> the days that you're confused because <laughs> there are days that you are actually confused mm. yeah mm. so you just have one book for a journal mm-hmm. and then the other book for your scripting also this book for your scripting behind mm-hmm. or even the very front page mm-hmm. you can write your words 
Yes. Okay. Mm. And can I have the means of cooking? You can. Mm -hmm. I don't but know what it is about writing. No, <laughs> our writing is more. When you write it, it, mm -hmm. is, it has more more impact. Mm -hmm. okay, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Then again, also the most successful people mm -hmm. are also saying like when you write, especially with your own handwriting, mm -hmm. like when you're writing it down, you're just thinking, "Wow, I need to achieve this." Mm -hmm. It does something to your mind. Mm -hmm. And actually, the funny thing about scripting mm -hmm. is that when you're writing down every, everything that you want in your life. Mm -hmm. The, and you do not have it yet, mm -hmm. your mind and the universe just start rearranging itself in mm -hmm. order for you to achieve it. Like mm -hmm. for example, like I say, oh like one day I want to start a YouTube channel mm -hmm. and maybe you already have a YouTube channel, you mm -hmm. see. And then you, you can just come and tell me like, hey, they, uh, they have this opportunity, I want you to partner with me and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So you just find like everything is just rearranging in order for you to achieve whatever it is that you want. Because also the brain doesn't know like the reality and what is in your mind. Yeah, okay. I was told with someone, <clears throat> if you walk outside and you keep looking for a red car, mm -hmm. you keep seeing red cars the you whole will. day. Yeah. The next day, you will not see a red car because you're not looking for it. For sure. So I think what you're saying is like, think of what you want, write what you want, think of everything, yeah. then that will start coming. Yeah. So you get in touch. Please let us know. <laughs> uh, I'm a very simple person. Mm -hmm. You can go to my Instagram, mm -hmm. which is the Jerry Minor. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will be there. Mm -hmm. And on Facebook, mm -hmm. Jerry Minor. Mm -hmm. And also my email is jerryminer74 mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can find them on the description box on my best page. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And do you have a course, like if you want to learn more, mm -hmm. like just to go through the whole, like do you have lessons and courses that I can take mm -hmm. one on one with you to yeah. now improve my life? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I normally coach people one-on-one. Mm -hmm. -on -one. mm -hmm. For now, I'm doing one-on-one, -on -one, but mm -hmm. I'm planning on doing also group coaching. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so if you are interested on the one-on-one -on -one courses, mm -hmm. on the coaching, mm -hmm. you can also contact me. Mm -hmm. You can find me on my DM on Instagram. I'm very... Yeah, yeah. I'm very yeah. slide, yeah. slide, slide in my DM. DM. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can just slide in my DM and then I'll, I'll get back to you and we can plan. We can plan. Yeah, it. for sure. Perfect. I don't like it. I don't like making it complicated. Mm -hmm. to find mm -hmm. Yeah. Call my assistant. Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Are you looking for Jerry my hair? Sorry. Oh, please leave your message <laughs> after the beep. <laughs> We're done with the video. Thank you so so much for coming. Oh, thank you for and inviting me. This chick is just amazing. She has a lot of information. And the thing I like, your information is not generic. It's not cookie cutter. Like you won't tell me, jump the road, cross the road, and you find the light and you feel the light. I'm like, what is that? It's really personal, mm -hmm. and it fits the situation that a person is in at yeah, that point. Yeah, for sure. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting me. I hope I'll be back again. Oh my god, you need to come back. We have to do 99 other things together. Oh, yes, for sure. I, I feel like we should, right? For sure. Me and you are so alike. I am mean, so alike, my friend. So I'm <laughs> in another life, guys. So I guess that's it. So I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like this video, share, and comment below if there's something or do you have a question for Jerry? Is there something you missed? Or is there something you'd like to see clarification? Let me know down below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.